four, their most accomplished album. I think their undisputed masterpiece is Hip to Be Square. Hey, Paul! Ah! I can't even now, you Mom used to sleep between us, you know. It's in... Vincenzo's Gold Crypto Investing. Good! Mild. Beautiful. Cloudy. With a developing low pressure moving out of the Rockies today and a strong Canadian cold front. Uh, Thursday afternoon ushers in uh, the coldest air mass of the season in the greater Bloomington metropolitan area in central Illinois. And also the Great Lakes, the greater uh, great state of Michigan, maybe the target of an Alberta clipper in our first accumulating snow of the season as I travel home for the weekend. Right, but let's look at other important things here. Huh? Is what I need you guys to do. They need to really get your fucking shit together now. You know what I mean? I'm really going to start targeting this. You know, you're on my fucking radar now. You see that 31.2% that are not subscribed but love to listen? Get off your fucking fleece heisting and shysting uh, chair and come on over to Jabroni Killer Boulevard and uh, yes, learn how to sidestep the market, the profitability. It's free. Hit that subscribe button. Get off that fleece heister and shyster chair and skip on down uh, to Jabroni Boulevard, right? Jabroni Killer Boulevard. Come on now. Get your fucking shit together, audience. We should be at 900 subscribers right now. This is a joke. This is a fucking joke. I'm embarrassed, right? I'm embarrassed for you guys sitting there at uh, Police Heister and Chester's chair. You know what I mean? You should be hopping on board to Jabroni Killer Boulevard. You know what I mean? Come on. What the fuck is going on around here? Let's look at your coins. You guys love these fucking coins. When I woke up this morning, Bitcoin was up a little bit higher. It's just kind of dancing, right? It's dancing up at that upper region that we thought we may come to. We were peaking up on top. And I believe that may be an all-time high. I'm not sure. I think it may be. Oh, what are you fucking stopping for? These people are so... I hate this fucking Illinois. I can't stand it. I just cannot stand this fucking state. I still think you're going to eventually retest that 53000 But as the price is topping out in a, in a market, or what I think may be topping out, it takes a while. It just kind of lacks and leaks and bleeds, right? And all these altcoins, and it's a beautiful time for them to pop randomly. They pop, then they sell off. They pop, then they sell off. They pop, then they sell off, right? The same as what Doge did. So we're keeping an eye on Bitcoin, right? But Doge did that this morning too. I want to say it was up like, I don't know, 8% when I woke up. Yeah, see back here? It was way up there. Uh, about 4 o'clock in the morning Central Standard Time, right? And since then, it's down at current price. Fuck, 20% from that. Wait, no, that's back in October. What am I talking about? Hold on. I'm all fucked up this morning. I know there was a pump this morning. I seen it up like six or eight percent. I'm like, damn. And then it sold off. It was right here. There we go. Because it's the eighth of November, right? See that? Take our industry exclusive measuring tool. And from the top this morning, see there we go. And now it's starting to come back up at that current price. It's down about seven and a half percent from this morning. So now what you're looking for if you're trading this is you need to get back if you're swing trading it, you need to bump above that 50 to, or 200 day moving average in green, right? And the we'll go to three hour time frame. As long as you're above that 200 day, you're bullish, right? If you break below it, you're bearish. But right now you're bullish because you're above it. That 200's in green. It's gonna be slithering its way up, right? So that's what you're looking for in the doge. The fucking doge coin, Vincenzo. Come on. What else do we got? The XRP. The XRP is the same thing. We went over in a beautiful video last night on why that target stretched all the way down on that green ring. We think that's going to be major resistance. So we're just going to watch out as it runs and trades sideways into it more than likely from now into this weekend. And as long as you're above the green and 200, you're bullish. If you're below it, you're bearish, right? So that's what we're looking for there. 
If you want in-depth TA on XRP, just watch my 17-minute video last night. We had a beautiful discussion on XRP. The Litecoin, which was phenomenally pumping, which I wish I would have bought. Right? It's still pumping. That's good. The sky's the limit. The moon's the landing zone, right? And another one that I've been in and out so many fucking times, but just never had the patience to hold it, was here. Because I thought it might come up to 61 way back in here. And I would have just had to hold it for about a month and a half. And I would have been phenomenally rewarded with a 30-something percent gain. But I'm a big uh, non-long-term -hold, non holder in this. Because I was fucking around. No, I was fucking around with it in here after it broke that initial. Because that, yeah, that's a big pump. And then I was thinking it could come way up there eventually. But, I mean, maybe that's happening now. But it's hitting overhead resistance, right? See that? Let's get back into there. See that overhead resistance at $61? That's why that was my initial target to play. God. That was an initial target to fucking play. Oh, my God. What is going on? Your motherfucking phone, dude. Jesus Christ. Unprofessional. Let's try this for the ninth fucking time, right? So that you're hitting up a resistance. And that would have been an initial selling point if I was still in there. And now, if you can get on top of that, you can come up to that target. Or you're going to come like this and then retest and reload to come up. So that's what we're going to look for. Look forward to in the Ethereum Classic. I'm actually very interested in that. I kind of blew that opportunity. I punted when I should have went, went for it on fourth down, right? Pulled a Jim Harbaugh. What else do we got? Jerome, I know you were asking about some coins this morning when I get my laptop back out. I will look into those coins for Jerome. And last time we looked at this, we were thinking you could come back and trade sideways. Remember, we said we'd look back at this, Jerome, uh, in a few days to a week. And we drew that moving average where we thought it might be in the four-hour time frame. And, or no, it was in the shorter time frame, maybe two-hour time frame. But it's still, I drew it too high up. But you can see my general idea, what I thought would happen was the price would get rejected off that 0.08927 where we thought it could come up to from way, way back there. And it finally did. And then we were like, nah, it's probably going to come back down to the 200 day. So down here, we were trying to forecast where the 200 day would be at when the price traded into it because I figured it would trade down and sideways into it and it did. And as long as you're above that 200 day in the three or four hour time frame, we'll go to the three hour, you're bullish, right? And you're above it right now, so you're bullish. If you break below it and close below it, you're bearish, right? So right now we're bullish though, but we got rejected off that overhead resistance. Now we'll see if we can't load back up, Jerome, to make another phenomenal push up and maybe get to that bottom part of that green zone at 0 0.012. Or do we get rejected and come on down closer to that 0 0.0041, right, down towards the shit house down here, right? Do we go down there or do we get reloaded and try to fight up into that region, right? That's what we're going to watch out for in the next few days as you start interacting with the 50, the 100, and the 200, and uh, from top to bottom, the red, blue, and green, right? So that's what we're watching out for. And that, phenomenal, phenomenal, phenomenal moves and pumps and excitement across the board in the cryptocurrency sphere as we work our way into, uh, uh, yeah, it's the middle of November. And I expect a lot of fireworks this month as we've already had a lot of fireworks and pumps and immediate dumps. And this would be one of those right here. Uh, we pumped up and then we dumped and then we pumped up 20-something percent yesterday. And now we're dumping back to lower support. And now maybe in this Proton, Proton, the one that uh, Phenomenal Marketing just took XRP and took the P and the R and flipped them. And they came up with their name. So people would be confused and just buy this fucking shit thinking it's XRP, right? Phenomenal Marketing, but just shows you these coins are all uh, essentially the same besides a very small, minute amount of them. So I still think that's possible. The green or the white is your two tracks to keep watching. Like, subscribe, and share to Vincenzo's Go Crypto Investing on our way to 1,000 subscribers. And remember, you fucking charlatans out there, get your fucking shit together and get off of that fleece heister and shyster chair and hop on down uh, to Jabroni Killer Boulevard, right? Like, subscribe, 
hit that button. Stop being a heister. Uh, I am not a financial advisor, nor do I play one of my own radio show. This is strictly mm, uh, uh, entertainment targets. This young trading alert. The Avian Oka Tanzan Wan Kwayansa La Juan Doni Seyuan Abugli Adida Ayagibug Abugli Whale. Uh, Tuxition, trading alert, entertainment, and my own personal opinions on the market, right? Uh, peace and love. Peace and love.